Okay, looks like we're live. Welcome back to another Monday morning mentoring. This workout that I'm going to show you today has what I like to call a weird side effect. It's actually a great side effect. Um, have you ever seen those videos where it's those black and white videos where it looks most of them are girls are walking around with books on top of their head. It's like etiquette class. And there's a book and they're, they're keeping the books on top of the head, right? They're working on their posture. Now, there's a lot of us that specifically, we don't work on our posture. When I was a kid growing up, posture was a big thing. And I remember hearing my mother saying, get shoulders back, put them shoulders back and down, put the head on top. And what we have today with the computers and the cell phones we have even more challenges to our posture than we did when I was growing up and even in those videos where we had the books on top of our head and practicing that. So today I've got an awesome, very simple workout that's gonna help you tighten up your core. It's gonna help you release the hips. It's also going to help with low back pain. There's just two exercises we're gonna do and I'm gonna put them back to back. But the great side effect is that it's actually going to help tighten up your posture. And so knowing that good posture can actually help you breathe better. So if you're feeling like you can't get a good breath and take a deep breath, we, I really suggest getting that posture, uh, looking at that posture and keeping that in the forefront. Like, how's my posture? Am I collapsed all the time? So posture, good posture is definitely helpful in self-esteem, self-confidence. If you're constantly slouched over, this is, I mean, just the simple act of bringing your shoulders back and down and head on top of the body can really benefit the self-esteem and the confidence. It, it, just me doing that right there, I feel more confident even talking with you. So try that. And knowing that um, other things, like when you open up your chest, open up your heart, that's also allowing for you to be more open to people and possibility and ideas and innovation. So there's, a, there's many benefits to good posture. Um, let's get to the exercises. And before we do, uh, if we haven't met before, I'm Stefana Johnson and I help busy executives drop the extra weight and look and feel amazing. So you skyrocket performance and productivity. I'm going to show this from, let's see. I want to make sure you can see me. So I'm going to lower my camera down. Good. Okay, so this one comes from, you could actually use a door handle. My door is pretty far away. So I'm going to use this so you can see this. But what, what you're going to imagine is having a book on top of your head. Okay, so imagine a book on top of your head. If you had the door handle of a door that you have, I, I sometimes go back and show the door, but I'll have my clients use a door handle. If you have something that's, that's pretty stable, now I'm not putting all my weight where it's gonna pull over or pull the door off the hinge, but you want to have it to where you can actually work on getting, if you can see this, the head on top of the body. Now I'm gonna go into an imaginary chair. My feet are, hip distance apart, maybe a little bit wider, especially if your hips are a little tight on the first few times. Now, holding in this imaginary chair, keeping the book on top of the head, and then we're gonna lower the bottom all the way down to the floor. So that's gonna stretch out the hips. We're gonna start to push the hips so that the sits bones are facing down. You don't wanna be rounded. And if you're super tight, you know, be really easy the first few times because you're going to start to stretch those hips. When we sit a lot, our, we get really tight hips and that has a big impact on the posture. Believe it or not, the posture doesn't just come from the shoulders. It comes from the hips as well. It comes from the whole body. So in this position here, I'm just squatting down. I'm going to put that book on top of the head again, and I'm going to push from my booty to come back up in that imaginary chair. I am using this for support, but not to pull everything off. So we're gonna do this 10 times. So we're gonna drop the hips and then we're gonna come back up. When we drop the hips, I want you to shift so that you're pushing your chest forward and that's gonna open up the hips so the pelvis comes back to neutral. If you're rocked way back here, you're not in pelvic neutral. 
And that's going to perpetuate those issues with the posture. So remember, what we're trying to do is get those hips to be more mobile. So we're pushing up and coming down. So up and down. Now you don't have to go very fast. We'll see if we can get 10 of those done. If this bothers your knee at all, this is something where you want to adjust your hips. If your pelvis is out of alignment, you're going to feel this pain in your knees and in your back. So check for neutral spine and you're zipping up. So you're zipping up as if you're holding a diamond deep in your sphincter, your pelvic floor, as you go through this. I've lost count, but we're probably close to that 10 mark. That's quads working, everything's working, turning on the core. And then we're gonna come over the floor and I'm gonna show you a movement. We're gonna call it the scorpion. So we're gonna come all the way down to the floor. Ideally, if you can put the chin on the floor or the forehead, for the first moment because we want to start to activate the posterior <clears throat> we're going to take the leg and reach behind as if you're trying to grab your foot back here i'm going to bring the hand in and push and look up at the sky shoulder stays down so that's going to stretch through the packs this whole chain all the way down that's connected from the toes all the way up to the arm all of that fascia, all of that tissue is connected. I'm going to move to the other side. Now, once you've got this down, you can move at a pace that feels comfortable. And you can do 10 of those or five on each side. And then we go up and we start again. So I'm going to go here so you can see. I'm going to do this from the door, dropping down one. Work on top of the head, two, three, four, five. I'm going to come back over here and do the last five so we can see this close here. Five, four, three, two, and booties on, pushing and pulling from your muscles, not from your joints. I'm going to come back down and do our scorpions. Shoulders staying pocketed. Don't let that shoulder come up to the ear. So 10 singles or five on each side, right? And you can repeat that. Gosh, you could repeat that for a solid five minutes. In fact, this is part of a series that I've got that's a time-saving, core-building, posture-improving exercises. All of what I do when I created Yoga Lachi as a methodology for optimal movement. And you can find that actually, I'm gonna give it as a gift for the whole month of July. I just wanna get some feedback. And so if you wanna grab that book, it's called, it's Yoga Lachi Rapid Results. It's a workout program, little mini, mini guide. And I'm gonna give it this month as a gift. So you can go to yogalachi.com to grab that. This is one of the pieces in there doesn't take very long as you could tell and you can combine movements like that that open up the body that restore mobility to let's see if I can see I'm going to share it with you but well if you go to yogalachi.com you'll see it or if you see any of my social media posts you'll see the book that I've been working on. It's one of the big things that folks tell, I don't have time to work out, I don't have time. They're like, you can literally do movements. You don't have to go to and spend an hour in the gym. In fact, an hour in the gym is ridiculous because you wanna be doing movements throughout your day to improve your posture, to improve your mobility, to improve your self-esteem, to improve your performance and your productivity by moving, by uh, restoring your posture and all of these, this rapid results guide is, I built it in so that you could have five minutes. I even have a two minute in there 
that you can actually get some really good results. And as a result, you will feel so much better, so much more productive. All right, so I hope you'll try those exercises sometime this week. Let me know how they go. If you've tried them today with me, awesome. Um, and if you have any questions, reach out to me. Never hesitate to reach out to me. I love um, talking to people who are interested in optimizing their body and optimizing their performance and productivity as a result of optimizing this amazing home that you get to live in, right? Your body is, is your home and your vessels. Like, how do you take care of it? Hopefully you take far better care of your body than you do, let's say your car or something that you really cherish and love that you're taking better care of the body, right? Okay, so one other thing I wanted to say, just um, this week, think about what movements you could be doing, even if it's simply just dropping the shoulders back and getting the head on top of the body, even if it is simply uh, when you are on the computer, maybe being more mindful of where your head is so it's not so far forward all the time. Or maybe when you're on the phone or you're texting, instead of texting here, let's just shift it so you're up a little bit higher instead of way down here. Um, I see a lot of kids, I see a lot of youth in that position and it actually diminishes your capacity, your capability to think. It puts a lot of strain on, on the cervical and that cervical houses the whole cerebral cortex, all of that. And that's our brain function, right? It's super important. Um, I'm just gonna show you, I just picked this up and uh, this is a whole brain, everything. We're studying the brain and how everything in the brain correlates to the body. And when our body is not functioning optimally, our brain will not function optimally. So these are really important concepts to understand. It's not just simply, oh, I need to have good posture to look better. That's good. That's, that's definitely an important thing. But you also want to feel better. When I say feel better, I mean feel alive and energetic and confident as opposed to uh, depressed and having anxiety chronically or feeling drained and confused and lack of focus and all of those, we can totally turn that around. In fact, I, I turn clients around within 24 hours by simple actions that are completely doable and fun. That's the, that's the most important thing is to make it fun at least in my book, I, I want to make it fun for us. So if you are serious about dropping that weight and you want a jump start, give me a call or reach out to stefana.net. You can jump on my calendar right there, stefana.net, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-A.net is my calendar. So you can jump on my calendar there. Okay. Try it out this week. Let me know how it goes. I would love to hear how it goes. And um, until next time, have an amazing week.